Okay. If you experience despair in the moment, it is heavy. And I am sorry if you are feeling despair in this moment. It is um, very overwhelming, extremely distressing, dark and heavy, and it feels bigger than we perceive. Our ability to manage and in the moment we feel that we can't cope, that we will not be able to cope, that we will not be able to get through. And while that may feel true, and we tend to believe our thoughts, and we tend to believe our feelings, can I just... Um, remind you that um, our thoughts and feelings are temporary, they do pass and while they might go on a loop and if you're struggling with depression they might go into a very negative heavy loop or if you're going through challenges in this moment in your life they might be a bit more challenging but do you know that there is help out there reach reach to your doctor so they can be fully supported reach to your family if you can or a member of your family where you feel better Reach to your friends, even if you don't want to talk about it, but just feeling safe and supported in the moment. Or reach to the community that are strangers, that are fully supportive, compassionate, and that are those that have lived the same life experience so they know that while it is true that something is challenging, it does pass and it does get better. It's only a period in time. And even just reach to a place where there are others, where you're surrounded by others, so you don't feel so isolated. Because perhaps a little distraction will help you snap out of your repetitive loop. And if you choose to <clears throat> stay by yourself and just go through it, just have faith or trust, even if you don't trust in the moment or have faith in the moment, just hope and, and accept it. It does feel terrible in the moment. It does feel bad. But this too shall pass. It's just another moment or another day but like the seasons things and like the weather there are moments where things are turbulent and dark and raining and there are moments of sunshine and growth and warmth and just because something lasts a little longer that we want to and are tolerant and does not mean that will not change because it can change and it does change. Sometimes it might involve a little change in habits or perspective or lifestyle or even nurturing and looking after ourselves, making sure that we eat healthy and drink healthy and sleep enough, enough quality and do the best that we can to remove ourselves even if it's just temporarily, to a space of peace, if that distressing comes from conflict with others. So we can have moments in our day where we can find peace and ease. 
there are many solutions out there and when we are feeling despair we don't see the solution we get stuck on the problem and we feel that we don't have our the ability to conquer to overcome and we don't believe that we'll get better and that's harsh that's hard but accept that reality of the moment it is what it is it's not what I wish for it is hard it's not what I want but I make peace and it is what it is and sometimes we have expectations of others that perhaps they behave in a different way but we can't control others we can't control their thoughts we can't control their behaviors <clears throat> we can influence and to a certain degree depending on their age and dependent how dependent they are from us but you can't it's hard to motivate ourselves let alone motivate someone else's we can only look what's within our control. So what can I do to feel bad in this moment? Or do I want to feel this feeling? And if we do, then it's okay. It doesn't feel good, but we want to make peace with it. And there is a place to feel bad because there is a function that alert us to what is important to us and what is not. And uh, a place of clarifying what is it we want to experience differently and what changes we can make but while we go through that <clears throat> just accepting it's not what I want but I make peace and I accept the reality of it in this moment and without acceptance hopefully there is a little bit of light and a little bit of um, there's like a layer that gets removed to sort of lift a tiny little bit not a lot but a little bit just enough to help us through and often when we go to sleep and we sleep through that's when we feel our best and that heaviness that's clarifying gets better if you're struggling with <coughs> depression or going through a very depressive period that could influence your sleep and you might have insomnia so it's harder to come out of it naturally and easily but do reach for help if you are struggling and you're not having a moment in your day where you are at least at peace or relaxed if it's a day that's the minimum if it's several days then just reach and ask for help so you can be fully supported so this these words are not meant to minimize the discomfort and it's not meant to take away the reality of it it's just simply to give you a little bit of hope that this too shall pass it is challenging, it's hard and I'm sorry that you're going through it and feeling it. It doesn't matter if it's small or big. When we are feeling it, we are feeling it. And um, it will get better. There will be other moments of peace and ease and love and joy and happiness. Even if we don't see it in this moment and our bodies are more resilient than we give ourselves credit for in our minds so calmness and patience may we just wish that may i have what is needed to get through this the best way that i can and we can only go through it the best way we know and can in the moment and sometimes we know better, but we can't access different ways of behaving, of being. So let's just accept this is me, no judgments. Just 
perhaps not the behaviours I want to engage in, it's perhaps not the circumstances I want to be in, but that it is what it is in the moment. And in the future when I have more strength, when I can see things differently, then I'll make plans for change. But right now, right now, my only goal is to make peace with what is. It's just, that is an expression, it's not a bad life, it's just a bad day. And sometimes it could be, it's not just a bad life, it's just a bad period in my life, in our lives. So in a big scheme of things, and if you have lived long enough, you've noticed there are moments where we feel good and moments where we don't. Moments where we feel joy and moments where we feel sad. And moments where we feel distressed and moments where we trust. So the same way that a bad storm comes and we just weather the storm by doing what we can to protect ourselves. So we will, during times of distress, do what we can to protect ourselves by not engaging in things that we might regret. And um, even if we are not as productive or doing the things perhaps that we wanted to do, but as long as we are safe, physically and mentally, if we are not, if we are not feeling safe physically and mentally, then we need to go and beach. That could be an emergency doctor or a general doctor. And if we are safe physically and mentally, then um, we just give ourselves the time and not can engage in anything that is heavily destructive, like um, alcohol and drugs and, and weapons. And But I am going to give myself the space to heal and recover. I'm going to find a little something to pay attention to that is neutral to me, whatever that may be. It could be a pet, a cloud, a star, the moon, a flower. Anything that is neutral enough so we don't feel that it's too hard to focus on. Or even an uplifting word or song music or even just slumber, go to sleep until we gather enough energy and momentum to do something differently. But for now, just finding the peace, it is the acceptance, it is what it is. It's not a bad life, just a bad moment, a bad moment. And even on a bad day, Hopefully there will be little moments where they are neutral or good or positive. They might not have enough momentum to carry us through from despair to bliss. But it might be enough of a momentum to carry us from despair to a little lighter. Perhaps into sadness. Perhaps into disappointment. Perhaps into anger perhaps into acceptance, just a little baby step at a time. And I hope that you do find a little peace. Yeah, may you have peace in this time of trouble. May you trust that this too shall pass. May you be okay with the uncertainty you just be without judgment, without expectations that things should be differently. Just be in this moment, in the here and now, noticing the breath coming in and out. And when you notice that discomfort, physical discomfort, because the body has released some cortisol, if you can, have a little shake, perhaps a little movement, 
just let it, let it out and if you can manage a little walk into nature or a small dance, some baby steps of um, any movement or even some cleaning, some light cleaning, something that does not take too much effort but involves some physical movement that will help physically dissipate.